vlog 497. You know what that means? Nice book. Uh, we are three away from 500. I still don't know what the 500th vlog is gonna be. I have no idea. Maybe I should delay it for a week or two. That's not gonna happen. What to say about that? What are we doing today? We gotta go to Nina's again. Try on some baggy pants. <laughs> <laughs> I can guess who's gonna be the one who's trying them on. Actually, it'll be me. Oh, really? You're too tall. Oh, so I just get to sit and watch. Yep. Okay, and there's no traffic, there's no nothing. We got I three know. days of basic relaxation, which, which is really nice. Uh, it's supposed to rain on Saturday? That's what it says. I don't want it to. I want it to rain on Monday. Can you can you perform the empty rain dance? I, I'm going to have to. Can you do that now? I want to see no, that. I'm sitting. We could do that in our new flying eyes optic glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they'll keep the rain back, but at least we'll look cool if it does rain. Right? If it rains, we can't wear our glasses. Um, Stitching, we're trying to stitch around all of everything together yeah, first. Perfect. perfect. And then, oh of course, gosh. the jam deadlines, though, I don't know if we'll need to actually stitch them in there. <coughs> oh. oh, I almost fell. I, yeah, I just thought that it's there if you yeah. need, need it. Oops. Oh, look, trip matches. Hey, Tim, can you take those? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another quick costume update. Character's looking really slick. Oh man, it's really bright. Looks good. Thank you. Working on some of the fragile stuff now. So I wrap the fabric and then the eyeballs will come in from behind, pushed in. Looks good. Thank you. <laughs> now, why are you working in the kitchen? Well, it's going to rain, but now the sun is out, so I'm not sure when it's going to rain, but it got cold, so I'm in here. You know, I I wake up in the middle of the night sometimes and I write down a, a, a thought or something that comes to me and then I scribble it down. And it's amazing that the next morning I completely forget that I actually wrote it down. And then I got to spend the next half an hour or so trying to decipher what it is that I wrote. Because I, I can't even read it. Because it, it it's dark and I'm, I'm scribbling and I'm like half asleep. And, but when I finally do figure it out, it's actually a really good idea. I've come up with some pretty amazing ideas in the middle of sleep or in that kind of twilighty kind of time where you're half asleep and half awake. This one, not a bad one. Pretty good. Well, we'll see. All right, a couple of things that are coming up uh, in the month of December. One is that I'm going to be doing a few kids seminars. They're called Wacky Car Seminars. And what I do is I sit down with a group of kids in a classroom and I'm doing this in a couple of different schools. But I, I sit down with them and, and I ask these kids, I have a dry erase board, and I ask these kids to help me 
design a car, something really strange. I generally ask them what their favorite fruit or vegetable is, and then that's what we turn the car into. And then I ask them how many, how many tires it should have, uh, what kind of animal should be driving it, these kinds of things. And then I sit there and I draw for about maybe 15 or 20 minutes. And when it's all done, I turn it around and I show the kids what they've designed. It's really a cool exercise because it's something that, that kind of gets that flow of creativity. Everybody's kind of joining in. And then the look on their faces is classic when I show them what they came up with. Now, I do these seminars uh, uh, quite a lot around the holidays, but what I, what I want to throw out to you guys, if anybody is in Los Angeles or in, in the, a local adjacent area, if you are a teacher or you belong to a school or you want me to come by and do one of these seminars with the kids, uh, it's really fun and I'm just kind of putting the feelers out there. So if there's, if there's anybody out there that would like to do something like this, then contact me through the blog, through the website, uh, anyway, through Facebook, uh, um, Instagram, wherever, wherever you are. Let's do some things that will uh, put some smiles on kids' faces. All right, and a final thought for today. Uh, I don't get a chance to, to talk like this too often, but uh, I'm going to talk like this today because it's an opportunity. The concept comes from the, the, the idea, the concept that uh, getting to do things versus having to do things. People struggle because they feel that they have to do stuff, that they don't have a choice, and, and things would be better if they did have a choice. And what you have to realize is that in that, in that little tiny statement is a seed, and that seed is that you always have a choice. You're always choosing to do something. If you think about, let's say, paying your taxes, it's like you have a choice. Either pay your taxes or go to jail. Well, that's not a great choice, you know, but it is a choice. It's you would rather have the ease of paying taxes and the struggle of, of doing that kind of stuff than going to jail, because that would suck. So we all pretty much choose to pay our taxes. Some of you don't, you know who I'm talking about. The point is to live a life where you get to do things and not have to do things, and that's very important. But getting to do things is not because someone is lucky. Getting to do things is because you choose to look at it that way, and that's the most important aspect of all this, is that you have to make a conscious choice to improve your life in every way that you can. And when you look at something instead of, well, I have to do this thing, you look at it as a blessing that I get to do this. I get to go up to the store and buy some groceries. I get to go and have my, my clothing uh, uh, dry cleaned. These are all gifts. Every single moment in this life is a gift. And the sooner you see that, the sooner your life will blossom and become better and better on a daily basis. So stick with us here on the blog. We keep things positive, we keep things cool, we're having a good time because we get to do this. I choose to do this. I choose to hang out with you guys and do fun stuff with cars at the beach, uh, different kinds of things, even with glasses. And speaking of glasses, these right here from Flying Eyes, Vlog 500 coming at you. Vlog 500, when it shows up, which is gonna be soon, we're gonna be giving away these. Okay, that's it for vlog 497. Thanks for watching, hanging out, doing the cool stuff. We will see you shortly. Three away. One, two, three. Three away from the big 500. Ah, just.